All right, today we're gonna to be showing you how to solve a problem and we are not saying this is a way that you should do it and we are not recommending that you do do it. It is just a way that we are having to do it on certain venues that do not have three phase power accessible to us. So American Rotary makes a lot of um, phase converters. So we end up having an idler motor on the bottom that ends up kind of artificially generating a third leg and making everything out of phase the way it needs to be to be true three phase power. So we have three phase motors, and on these three phase motors, we have to power them with three phase. If you end up trying to do single phase, it's just not gonna work at all. So you can see over here on our controller, it's just showing Y and Z. So when we turn this on, it's going to generate that other leg. So before I turn it on, just to explain it to you, we're going in with single phase 220 volt power or 240, depending on what your voltage runs. And then it ends up coming out. And if you measure from leg to leg, it's 208, 208. And then your other leg is gonna be just a little bit different, but it's very close to 208. So the only problem, if you're trying to do each uh, phase individually to ground, you're gonna end up getting 120 volts, 120 volts and the artificially generated leg is still gonna show up 240, which is a little bit scary, but that's just to kind of let you know how it works. But if you do go from leg to leg, everything will be fine. So this is the American Rotary uh, three phase, I think it's AR5 is the model number for it. Probably should went with AR10 just to get a little bit more juice, but this was supposed to be super overrated for what we're doing. So you kick it on, and this one makes a little bit of noise. We're gonna call and ask them about it, but you kick it on, make sure you have your breaker off on your main controller. And that's the grinding noise I was kind of talking about. But over here, now you can see we are generating X, Y, and Z. So we have all three legs. So now we can actually turn this on, and we are powered. And then just to show you, we're gonna take this motor over on this side, and we're going to bump it down and it is creating three phase power off of single phase power. So it works great. You can hear the transformer and the capacitor is kind of kicking on and doing what they do. So this will allow us to do multiple motors. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's see what we can see in the shot. The one that's behind Josh and Tanner, I'm gonna go ahead and go down with it a little bit more. We'll stop there. And that way we can have it going up. We'll have motor two, which is the one by Josh going up. And we will have the one that you can barely see over here going up. So this will be three motors at the same time going up with no load right now, but we could put a load on. So moving up, and you can see they are all three moving and doing the 32 feet per minute that they're supposed to. So in doing this, it does allow us to use three phase power in applications where we only have single phase power. So the next part, we're gonna show you actually lifting a load just to show you that this uh, American Rotary can actually handle it. So using this, we can still do our nice little small bumps of five units per chain length and uh, get our nice, get exactly what we need. You can see it's very small bumps there coming in real close. I'm going all the way up. And it still does 32 feet per minute. Coming back down. See our nice, very small increments. He's not gonna do too many for obvious reasons. Land nice and safely. So then we're going to lift both at the same time just to show that this rotary face converter can handle both. So here that goes. You can see it's having no problems lifting both evenly. And you can go down and still do bumps, even with a full load. So those are small bumps down. You can see they're very slightly coming down. A little harder from far away, but it is doing it. So then on the powering off sequence, off with your controller first and then off with the face cam. 
So this is just a way to work around if you do have to use three phase with only having single phase. So it does work and uh, we've tested here just to show you. And American Rotary makes quite a few of these in different sizes. This is one of their smaller ones. And they also for um, video and a lot of other very intricate pieces, they have some that are already put together inside of a rack that also has voltage control attenuation. So you can make sure that you have the exact same voltage no matter what's happening with the load. So those would be great for very sensitive electronics and other things. These motors, this is working great for us.